What is archaeology? There are as many definitions as there are archaeologists. One friend of mine has said, an archaeologist is someone with his eye to the peephole of the past, trying to pry into the minds of the ancients. But in fact, as another colleague, Lou Benford, reminds us, archaeologists are poorly equipped to be paleopsychologists. Another wag has said, an archaeologist is someone who spends his life poking through other people's garbage. I like to say that archaeologists are merely historians who write history from things rather than from text, although we're glad to have text if we can find them. In other words, let's put the stress on material culture, on things rather than words. And I want to try to help you to understand how an archaeologist reads artifacts in the same way that a historian would read texts. If you know the language and syntax and vocabulary of things, then they speak to you with a very loud and clear voice. So we are materialists, we archaeologists. Now, biblical archaeology really isn't an American invention. It began uh, uh, perhaps as early as about 1838 when an American scholar, Edward Robinson, went to Palestine as the first modern explorer. He was, of course, a biblical scholar and taught at what is now Andover and Newton Seminary in Boston. He went again in 1852. By the 1870s, the British and other Europeans were deeply involved in the recovery of the ancient Near East, and the first modern maps of the area were made, particularly by the Great Survey of Western Palestine under British auspices. The first real excavation was in 1898 at uh, Tel El-Hesse, a small site near the Gaza Strip, uh, carried out by the legendary Sir William Flinders Petrie. I'm so old now that some people think I'm Petrie, but I'm really not. Uh, in any case, that was the beginning, and of course it was thought to be a biblical site, either Eglon or perhaps uh, Lachish. In the golden years before the First World War, not only the Americans but others were involved in the first large-scale excavations. The British at Gezer, where I've spent more than 30 years re-excavating the site and where my students carry on today, um, the Americans excavated at Samaria, the capital of the Northern Kingdom, under George Andrew Reisner of Harvard. Uh, the Germans excavated at Jericho. These are all famous biblical sites. So what we're dealing with is the archaeology of the Holy Land, or the lands of the Bible. That was the initial impetus uh, and interest, and in some circles it still is today. In the 50s and 60s, there seemed to uh, no reason to question the success of what Albright once called the archaeological revolution that will change the way we understand the Bible forever.